I was about six months old, and my mom collected all these records when she was in high school in the 50s. And um, she would put a whole stack of them on what's called the Victrola, and it has a, a tumbler in the middle, and it would drop one record at a time, and I would listen to um, 1950s doo-wop uh, about six hours a day. So she had uh, Fats Domino and Buddy Holly and Little Richard, and that's really where my love uh, for the music came out. Uh, you know, as time went got by, there, there was the 60s, the Beatles, and uh, I liked the Four Seasons. And then um, the 70s was all glam, and I, I wound up seeing the David Bowie Diamond Dog Show, and I wound up finding the Ramones, and I decided that uh, I wasn't gonna play pro football anymore. I was going to R R uh, Rhode Island to play ball, and I kind of threw it off because I had a machine shop. I said, well, you know, I could always work the machine shop when I'm done. So I decided to chase Dee Dee and, uh, you know, be a bass player in New York City. I started as a senior in high school. It was right after football season. I started the Misfits with uh, Glenn. And a buddy had sat next to me in earth science class my junior year. And I said, you know, I really want to get into a band and start writing some stuff. And he said, well, uh, he said, you should get a guitar. I said, I ain't got the patience for all those chords. You know, and he said, well, why don't you play bass? Uh, then I would take him in the, in the early 80s and cut him into bat wings and glue skulls and stuff on him. So that was my, that was my gig. I first laid eyes on Dee Dee in CBGB's in the summer of 1977. And we had, Glenn and I had already started the Misfits and we had done some shows. And what happened was that we went to CBGB's and we walked in and it was jammed. And immediately I could say, there's a Ramon, there's a Ramon. Everybody, the Ramones are here, the Ramones are here. I was like, there's a Ramon. So the thing was, they had a uniform look about them. And that really struck me for, and that's why when we got our band together, we tried, well, we, we couldn't find out what we were really about for the first year. And then we came up with the horror image and we were like, well, look, we're all into horror films. So what happened was that we, uh, started with making the horror image, and, uh, but it was based upon seeing the uniformity of the Ramones, you know, because they all had the same look, and you could tell who was who. Hey, 